Assalamualaikum. Hi everybody. I hope this time my microphone works. In this video, I just want to give you an idea what we can do with this um, interrupter circuit. Okay. This circuit based on um, this uh, interrupter here. Um, you can see on my previous videos that I always use this uh, interrupter for my ignition um, demonstration. Okay, I'm going to show you the uh, PCB. This is the uh, PCB that I use. Um, I ordered this from China from a company called JLC PCB okay I still have uh, plenty of them so if you need um, a circuit like this you can just uh, let me know okay now um, Normally, I uh, power uh, this uh, ignition coil using this interrupter. Um, but this time, I'm going to show you um, that we can uh, power this little LED and also the uh, tachometer over here this is the uh, tachometer okay um, but before I continue I want to show you something um, This is my circuit. Um, here I have normally uh, two diodes. These are uh, protection diode. Um, it is used to uh, prevent uh, the circuit uh, from uh, failure because of the uh, um, false polarity normally this side is positive and this side is negative but if you connect it uh, incorrectly you can destroy the uh, circuit for this uh, IC 555 but uh, for powering two ignition coils like this, the uh, diodes here uh, are getting very hot. So, for this circuit, I uh, replaced the uh, diodes with uh, uh, copper wire. Okay, uh, so. Now I don't have any uh, reverse polarity protection anymore, but uh, I can power the uh, uh, two ignition coils uh, for a longer period. Okay, now I'm going to show you the uh, connection. Here is my small LED. The uh, positive pin connected to the uh, positive uh, terminal of uh, input or the uh, power supply and then the uh, negative uh, pin is connected to 1.2 kilo ohm resistor here and then
and then connect it to the uh, signal terminal of the uh, igniter okay now I'm going to turn on the uh, power supply okay now we can see that the uh, LED is blinking if I um, turn the uh, potentiometer the uh, frequency um, is going up okay if we turn all the way up to the maximum Um, the uh, blinking is very fast that we cannot see that the LED is blinking okay now I'm going to turn off the uh, power supply and connect the uh, um, tachometer this is the uh, negative connection of the uh, tachometer and this is the uh, signal cable red one here I'm going to connect it here I'm going to turn on the uh, power supply again you can see that the uh, tachometer is running I'm going to uh, turn the uh, potentiometer so the uh, frequency from the uh, interrupter is uh, translated into RPM on the uh, tachometer I'm going to uh, set the uh, potentiometer to the uh, highest position to turn the uh, potentiometer again okay this is the uh, lowest position again okay now I'm going to turn off the uh, power supply and then connect the uh, ignition coil I'm going to connect only one ignition coil here okay this is the uh, spark plug okay I'm going to turn on the uh, power supply I'm going to turn off the light Wait a minute
Hopefully you can see it better now. Now I'm going to uh, turn the uh, potentiometer. going to play with the uh, potentiometer again. This is the uh, maximum frequency. Oh, by the way, this uh, tachometer is set for a four-cylinder um, four-stroke engine. Set up. This is the uh, tachometer, the igniter with LED for the interrupter, ignition coil, and spark plug. Okay. With this um, simple interrupter, with this PCB, we can uh, make um, a test station for ignition system. Okay. I think uh, that's it for now. Until next video, bye-bye.